Welcome to the assembly video for your Braille King gas grill. Feel free to use this video as a companion to your assembly manual. Now let's get started. Before starting, unpack all the components of your barbecue out of the box and lay them out in your workspace. Use the foil drip pan to hold the contents of the hardware bag. You'll need the following tools to assemble your Braille King barbecue. A hammer or a rubber mallet. A number two Robertson or Phillips screwdriver. A 7 16 combination wrench. And finally, a 7 16 socket and ratchet wrench. Step one. Using a block of wood as a base, place the push nut on the block. Set the axle into the open side of the push nut and tap the other end of the axle firmly with a hammer to secure the push nut to the axle. Place one of the seven inch wheels on the axle. Slide it all the way to the end of the axle. Then insert the wheel and axle through the opening in the resin base of the barbecue. Turn the barbecue base on its side and use the wooden block to support the already secured push nut. Place the second 7 inch wheel on the other end of the axle. And then place the second push nut on the open end of the axle. Firmly strike the push nut with the hammer to secure it to the axle. Set the base on the ground upside down to install the casters. Push them in using your body weight. Make sure the collar on the caster stem is flush to the base. If it is not flush, use your 7 16 wrench across the bottom of the caster to increase the force. The large wheel should always end up on the left side of the barbecue when it's upright. Step two, take both side panels and the rear cabinet panel. Align the screws on the side panels with the openings on the rear panel. Use your screwdriver to tighten all four screws. Step three, remove the flavor waves and flavor zone dividers. Turn the cookbox upside down and use the wooden block to support the front of the cookbox. Remove the two pre-installed bolts located at the rear of the cabinet assembly. Take the cabinet assembly and place the two pre-mounted bolts on the side panels into the opening on the casting supports. On the front corners of your cabinet, install two long bolts from your hardware pack into the mounting holes. Install a nut on each bolt. That's two on each corner, four in total. Tighten the fasteners with your 7 16 wrench and screwdriver. At the rear of the cabinet, install the previously removed bolts, then secure the cabinet with two additional bolts from the hardware pack. The four rear panel bolts do not require nuts on them. The rear brace retains the bolts effectively. Step four. Using the hardware shown, install the door bracket on the bottom of the front brace. The notched side of the door bracket should face the inside of the cabinet. Secure them with one nut on each bolt. Step five. Install the propane tank bracket and secure it using the four bolts and washers provided. Step six, attach the base to the cabinet panels using the six nuts and bolts provided. Two on each side and two at the back. 
From the inside of the cabinet, pass bolts through the steel cabinet panel and the resin base. Secure them with the nuts provided and tighten all six using your 7 16 ratchet. On bases with two options for attachment holes, always use the outer opening, never the inner. With the help of a friend, stand the barbecue grill upright. Do so by laying the upside down barbecue onto its back, then stand it up from there. Avoid tipping the barbecue forward onto its control panel. Step seven. Install the doors of your barbecue by inserting the upper pin into the front brace. Then the lower pin into the bottom of the barbecue. Step 8. Using the hardware shown, install the shelves onto your barbecue grill. Hold the shelf securely and insert the roll pin through the shelf bracket into the bottom opening of the cabinet panel. Make sure you use cotter pins to secure the roll pins on the shelf. Do this on both the front and back of the barbecue. To secure the shelves in the upright position, lift up and then push down firmly on the edges of the shelf closest to the cook box. Use the plastic pins provided to lock the shelves in the upright position. Step 9. Step 10. To install the hose, remove the horseshoe clip. Attach the side burner igniter wire and the side burner hose. And replace it over the side burner venturi tube to secure the burner hose in place. Remove the pre-mounted hardware from the lid and then attach the lid to the cookbox assembly by reinstalling the roll pins and cotter pins. Remove the handle mounting hardware from the lid. Install the lid handle and secure it with the hardware you just removed. Install the stainless steel boss extension on the front edge of the cook box. Install the stainless steel boss extension Replace the flavor zone dividers and flavor waves. Install the cooking grids in your barbecue. Install the warming rack by putting one peg through the hole in the lid assembly. Holding the warming rack surface vertically, slide the other pin into the side of the top casting. Install the swing arm pins into the cook box. Step 11.
slide the grease tray assembly into place on the grease rails. Then attach the grease cup onto the grease tray assembly. Step 12. For propane models, install the tank into the cabinet base. Then secure the propane tank using the tank bracket in the cabinet. And attach the regulator to the propane tank. For natural gas models, pull the hose through the openings on either side of the cabinet. Install the battery into the igniter. Begin by unscrewing the igniter cap, then install the battery with the positive terminal out, and finally replace the cap. Step 13. Regardless of whether or not you have a rotisserie on your barbecue, install the rotisserie brackets we've provided. The right side bracket is two pieces that nest together, while the left is a single piece. Install the right hand brackets on the inside of the casting. Continue installing the bracket using bolts from the inside of the casting pointing out. Use the supplied wing nuts on the outside of the casting to secure the rotisserie bracket. Install the left side bracket from the top by inserting it into the groove in the casting. The rotisserie motor easily installs on the right hand bracket. To assemble the rotisserie kit, loosen the thumb screws on each fork, slide them onto the spit rod, and then tighten the thumb screws before proceeding. Place the bushing on the spit rod with the set screw facing the inside of the barbecue. Install the threaded collar on the open end of the spit rod. Put the counterbalance weight on the spit rod and secure using the handle. Use your screwdriver to tighten the set screw. Now is a good time to look over your barbecue. Ensure that everything is secure and in place. From there, light your barbecue and leave it on medium-high for at least 20 minutes to burn off any residue from the manufacturing process. To season your cast iron cooking grids, heat your grill to 400 degrees. Turn your burners off and coat your grids with oil. Then you're ready to grill. Now is a great time to register your grill. Please visit omcbbq.com and click on the link. It's quick and easy. We'll provide you with the very best in customer support, recipe ideas, informative videos, grilling tips, and much more.